First morning home. He's already making some pancakes. <laughs> Let's see. They're a little thin, but that's okay. Mm. I think they'll be all right. They're my favorite. It's better than the hospital. With, uh, with flaxseed in replace of egg. Mm -hmm. Great. And they taste pretty good. So, I know, they're so good. Cool. Day one. Day one at home. Well, day two, but day two. first full day. Yeah. Coming home into the house, you know, especially coming off of chemotherapy and being neutropenic and my blood levels being low and then them coming back up again, we're always trying to take every precaution we possibly can. So uh, it was really awesome that uh, Rabbit Air sent us this air purifier. It uh, filters out so many different things like pollens and everything. There's, I think there's like six different filters in there. So it's Christmas Eve and just got a call from City of Hope using my brother. So really looking forward actually to this bone marrow transplant. I was able to reschedule my start date from January the 10th to January the 17th, which means I get another full week at home. Been uh, staying active now, which is great. Finally got a chance to feel my my muscles back again and not feeling weak or feeling dizzy too much when I get up and uh, just really excited about the fact that I get a whole nother week at home with the family. It's gonna be awesome. I guess we're going. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I was gonna do my old fashioned belly slide, but I guess not. Okay, we're opening Santa's first. Okay. I'm going to open this one. This is from Santa. Yeah, I yeah. Oh, yes. We, we got it. Go. Yeah, of course. Well, I just went to Kaiser, had 19 vials of blood drawn, and uh, I felt fine. I didn't feel dizzy or woozy or anything like that. And uh, I think it's because of the plant-based diet that I'm on right now. I actually feel a ton of energy almost every single day. Um, and then also being able to get back to um, normalcy, which is working out, um, lifting in the weight room, swimming, staying active, just getting myself ready to go. I got uh, less than 10 days now before um, the transplant procedure on the 17th. So um, I'm excited about it because I know that it's going to go well and everything's going to be great afterwards. And it's just kind of a bump in the road. But, um, you know, just taking it one day at a time right now and uh, still home with the family. So looking forward to spending a lot more time with them before I have to go in. Going through life, you always have to go through uh, specific challenges, and uh, everybody's got their own. Um, this just, um, whether fortunately or unfortunately, it happens to be mine. So uh, it's something that I'm facing head on with a lot of support. Thank you all so much for coming out. Um, I really feel the love, and that makes a huge difference to me.
lot of like this. Sitting, and then throwing on the computer and then after five minutes I'm punched. Use your core. I know. Use your core. I know. Use your core. This is Kevin's cafeteria. Welcome to Kevin's cafeteria. It's open for business for dinner. And tonight we're having a stir fry, vegan stir fry, with um, mushrooms and broccoli and carrots and all sorts of good stuff. And it is a serve yourself. Go ahead. So today is January the 17th and Today was supposed to be the day that I go to the City of Hope, check in, start my chemotherapy for the bone marrow transplant and get myself all ready for it. But instead, we're doing this. Walking the dogs. Walking the doggies. Because I came down with a little bit of a cold, sore throat, stuffy nose, uh, cough. Um, so, <clears throat> The good part of it was that uh, my brother, who's the donor, is also experiencing the same uh, cold symptoms as me. So we both get a chance to recover um, and get healthy. And uh, obviously I get another week at home, which is uh, always good. But the bad part is, I don't know. I was, ready. I was, I was ready. Yeah. And we were all ready, right? To just get this over and done with. Yeah. And it's just, we were, we were all ready to go. So. Uh, that's kind of the bad part is just uh, resetting the mind and getting myself um, ready for next week now. But uh, after after one day of it already, I feel uh, pretty well adjusted. So I think I get my mind set again for uh, for next week instead. Uh, get seven more days to rest, recover, get healthy, walk the dog, spend time with the family and my wife, beautiful wife. Uh-huh. And so that's that's what we're doing. That's the plan.